Hi everyone, welcome back to Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I hope you guys are excited because today is a very special day. Today is day one of our upcycling things that we've been inspired by um, as far as runway fashion spring summer 2020. We did three videos this year to get everybody hyped up and more than that to get you guys inspired to know what things you can add to your upcycles to make them fresh, to make them dope, to make them, you know, trendy if that's what you're into so i hope you guys are excited i'm not going to tell you exactly what we're doing until we do it but i thrifted three trench coats and these three trench coats are all amazing and now i have to choose which one we're gonna do okay so i had my choices i went to the thrift store a couple of weeks ago and i found this trench coat which is a basic trench coat um nothing much to it um it has a split in the back no belt it doesn't I don't know if it ever had a belt most trench coats have belts but this one didn't have a belt um, it has just a little bit of a tab on the side of the sleeve and it is just a regular sleeve sometimes they have the a raglan sleeve but this one does not and it does not have any flaps and the buttons are hidden but it is a London fog and it was $1.25 so I can't complain and then I also got this one which is a more like a raincoat material amazing find i don't know what brand it is it looks like it's military i don't know that the tag makes me think it's like i don't know it looks a little bit military-esque and then this one in gray amazing double breasted has the flap has the belt still attached um a big thing on the pockets to cinch the um the wrist so that one is an amazing find and I have something else planned for that one. So today we are going to upcycle this one and drum roll. Surprise, we are attempting first time ever a puffy sleeve or balloon sleeve or mutton sleeve trench coat. So I hope you guys are excited. It's going to be amazing, I promise you, but I'm not spoiling it until the end. I know some of y'all gonna go to the end before we even start, but let's get right into this tutorial. So right now I have it on and I am actually going to put a pin like where I want it. And I think I actually want it like literally like this cropped. All right, let's get this thing done. So extra. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do when I have it on the cutting table is make sure I uh, take my lining out. All right, so I'm gonna line it up because I want both sides to be even. Even Steven. Now the question is, do we want to leave the back long like that one that was off? That is the, oh, this one does have, it's raglan in the back. Who does that? That is so weird. It's raglan sleeve in the back and then a regular sleeve in the front. Never seen that before. Hmm. Ouch. Hmm. Ouch. All right. All right, so this is where I put my pen. The other, on the other side, the pen is slightly lower. The pen is right here. So I'm gonna cut like the top of these pockets are. Mm, tail or no tail? Tail or no tail? Tail or no tail? Tail or no tail? No tail. I love crotch trench coats. Love, love, love. And you guys, like, you know, you understand with this, because we took the lining out, we don't really have to deal too much with the lining. You're just gonna, you know, like double fold hem it and finish that. And before we go to the next step, definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers and we gotta get there before March if we wanna keep our partner manager and we want this channel to keep getting better. So please share this video. That's how everyone will know all the good stuff that's happening here. Share it on Pinterest, Instagram, uh, Facebook, any place you can share it, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Get a seam ripper and take the sleeve off. I'm only gonna take off um, the part of the, the outside part of the sleeve. I'm not gonna take out the lining. I'm gonna unattach the lining from the sleeve completely. And because this one has this raglan sleeve on the back, I'll just cut it. I'm not gonna reproduce that. I, I, mm -mm. I ain't got time for all that. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna cut there. 
and then I'm going to take this out with the seam ripper. If you want to take something out fast with the seam ripper, then use the little ball, you know, use the tip to take out a few stitches and then turn it over, use the ball. Ooh, snap! This is that old renegade freestyle stuff that some of you hate, I'm sure, but when life gives you lemons, you do what you want to do. <laughs> Okay, so I have that sleeve unattached. I partially unattached it from the uh, lining. I may have to unattach it all the way, who knows, we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just the top part of this sleeve, I'm gonna reuse the sleeve, and I'm just gonna take the top part of this sleeve and we're gonna use this as a base pattern for our new puffy sleeve. Okay, so I have that piece of the sleeve that I cut off and I'm going to use the rest of the coat as a as the material for the new portion of the sleeve. I am going to attempt to line it up. So I have this one on top where that seam hits. There was a seam on the coat and a seam on the sleeve. So I'm just doing it like this to be like, you know, extra. But, oh, I want to take this up a little bit because I need some seam allowance down there. So, we have our seam allowance down here. From the seam allowance, I am going to draw a line that kind of curves out and then mimic the original curve, but tilt it over this way. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, even though this curve is not as curvy. So. And then I'm going to take a arc. Oh! And literally, I mean, like if you want that sleeve to be dramatic, you want that curve to be like all the way up. So we have that curve and we're gonna go with that. Okay, so now that I have it to this point, I may uh, fold it in half so that I can get both sides to be even. And if you guys get stuck at any point during the process, please join our Facebook group. The link is in the description box. There's a bunch of upcyclers there that can help you and I'm always around to help everyone. And I love to see you guys upcycles. Thank you guys so much, everybody who posts there. It's just so many positive people and encouraging people. So I love that group. So if you're not a member, go join that now, it's free. So this is what we cut off and this is what we're adding to make that dramatic, dramatic puff. Hope that makes sense. So then I am, I opened up this sleeve a little bit, not fully. I could have, but didn't. <laughs> this is one of those afternoon projects, you know, that I am trying to get done, like hit it and quit it. <laughs> That's not right. So I'm gonna pin it together and I am going to sew the top part of the sleeve back onto the rest of the sleeve. Okay, so I ended up taking a loose the rest of the, that, I mean, that was obvious that I was gonna have to do that. Y'all was probably yelling through the screen, you're gonna have to take it a loose. And then I also sewed the sleeve back together with the new part added. So let me turn this right side out. All right, so I have it inside out and I am first going to pin the underarm seam to one another. All right, so you're gonna go up a little bit without any gathers first. Then you wanna make a, what kind of pleat is this called? Y'all put it in the comments. You wanna make that kind of pleat. Box pleat, box pleat, did I get it right? Y'all tell me if I'm right. You wanna make a box pleat. Is that whole thing off the camera? We want a box pleat up at the top and then we're just going to create more pleats as we go down the sleeve. All right, so now we are ready to take it to our sewing machine and sew it all around the edge. Okay, so we have our sleeve on and it is nice and peppered. <laughs> what you wanna do in order to reattach your hem is, so you're gonna pull your 
lining back through your sleeve where it was attached and just add a pin. I have a pin right there and I attached it back the way it was. We're gonna do this two steps so that we can get it back. We don't have to do any hand sewing. The first thing I'm gonna do is reach my hand inside and I wanna make sure I watch out for that pin. I already stuck myself once today. Okay, reach in and pull the sleeve inside out. Then I want to reach inside underneath the lining, in between the lining and the sleeve, and grab the sleeve and pull it out underneath the two, in between the lining and the sleeve. All right, so we have our lining on this side, our trench coat sleeve on this side, and we're just gonna sew the two together all the way around the edge. All right, so the last thing I am going to do, or that I did, was the buttons had to come off because I re removed the lining and they were sewn all the way through the lining. So it was already off, but I am, I want these sleeves cinched more. So I am going to, or I did this one, move the button over so that it fits my wrist better. And that's that. All right, it's time for the big reveal. Drum roll, please. I absolutely love it. The fact that I was able to pull it off the first time is amazing to me. So here I'm pairing it with my Future Classic Upcycle Men's Dress Shirt and faux leather pants that I turned into a skirt. And both these tutorials are oldies but absolute goodies and they'll definitely be linked right here. Yes, I think this look is amazing for business, for anywhere. You're perfectly covered but perfectly stylish. Like. To a T, I'm I am in love with this look. But as we transition into the summer, you might want to be a little more saucy. So here's another way to style it. I have it paired with this baby doll top and leather shorts, and I'm wearing those same stripy heels from before. And all of this look was thrifted. But definitely check the description box for links to items that are similar to these if you want to copy these looks. And when I added the buttons on the sleeves, I actually added two on each to be able to make it tighter or looser, depending on whether I wanted to push it up on my arm or not. I am so happy with this. Guys, let me know in the description box how you feel about it. Was the surprise worth it? Um, and definitely what you want to see next. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. And I have a whole host of other videos for you to watch. This is just the beginning, although we have over 150 fashion tutorials on this channel. Everything that I've, every tutorial I've mentioned, it's linked in the description box as well as I try to add links along the way. So go definitely watch those and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!